Hey guys, what's up? It's Rhea, and today I have a pretty fun video for your Wednesday, or I guess whenever you're watching this, but it's posted on Wednesday. So, I have hinted at it in a couple of videos, but I'm getting a cat, and it's happening tomorrow. So, I thought I'd take you guys along on this little journey of adopting a pet for the first time. All the stuff you have to buy beforehand. I already bought it, so I wanted to do like a haul and just show you what I think I'm going to need. I probably have forgotten things, and I've gotten a lot of help from my sister who is like a cat expert. This is what I got. If I ever need anything else, I can obviously just go get it, but I was trying to be as prepared as possible to get him or her, I do not know yet. So let's get into it. I just picked up this cat toy. When they're kittens, they need to play a lot. And sorry, the lighting's weird. It's nighttime and all I have are like two little stick lights. I don't have box lights or anything. So this is gonna do. But I got this little mouse toy. Got quite a few toys. This has a little mouse too, but it's like rope and like a jingly ball, a scrunchy ball, and just a puff ball. And I got just simple nail clippers. That's not gonna be fun to do, cutting a cat's nails, but it's fine. And then I got these two cute little bowls. I just got everything that I like need right now and I can upgrade later. So I just got these, one for water, one for food, and my sister advised me to put them a little bit away from each other because the cat that I'm getting has been living outside, so it's not used to its food source being next to its water source. So if it is, it might think it's contaminated and then it won't drink water and that's a problem. So I'm gonna put these a little bit farther away from each other, probably water in the kitchen, food somewhere, and then got these. The next thing I got is this cat tumbling toy. That's what it looks like. And I thought for when I'm at work or just even when I'm home, he or she can entertain themselves with this toy. My current cat, well, my parents' cat doesn't really like the wand toys, but my sister's cat loves the wand toys, so I thought I'd give it a try. It was only $5. The next thing I got is this mat for food and water bowl. I might cut it in half and put it, each of them on it separately farther apart, but just so it doesn't slip around and get dragged around and spilled all over. I got this. Even though my sister told me I didn't need it and I still did it. I just thought it'd look better. And of course I had to get the kitten food. So I got this blue buffalo kitten food. I also got soft food because I didn't know it was good for them to have soft food because they need the moisture content in it. So I got this, oh no, I bought the wrong kind. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. I might return this and get different ones. I wanted, I think it was the Fancy Feast one because it doesn't have grain in it and cats don't need carbohydrates like we do. So it's actually not good for them and it will make them gain a lot of weight. So I bought the wrong kind. I will have to look into the ingredients to make sure it's right, but hard food, soft food, I'm gonna mix them together and when I'm not home, just have a bowl of hard food out. The next thing I got is cat litter. It is a charcoal one and it's unscented because my sister and this very nice veterinarian lady on YouTube said to get unscented because a lot of cats do not like scented. And this has charcoal in it, which will help absorb the scent. But I'm not really worried about it. I'd rather my cat be happy and I can figure it out from there. And I got this Nature's Miracle Stain and Odor Remover Foam. It's an enzymatic formula. So if he or she isn't adapting well to the litter box, I have this for cleanup and to help get rid of the smell. Hopefully they will not have a problem, but obviously it doesn't all just work out perfectly. And then I also got a carrier because I have to drive to go get him or her. So I had to get a little pet carrier and to go with the pet carrier, I got this blanket to throw in it and I'm gonna throw a couple of toys in so they can feel comfortable on the ride and I hope they're okay with it because it's a couple of hours, but I'll stop if they need a break, they need to unwind. <laughs> the next things I got are just a scooper for the kitty litter, obviously. This Fancy Feast, this is the brand I was trying to get the food in, but it's fine. These Fancy Feast natural hand flaked salmon treats. They are soft, so they are good for little kittens. And I just wanted a couple of treats to try to give her and to help him or her use the litter box. I also got a flea collar because they have been living outside, so 
Definitely want to prevent, kill, and repel. Just get rid of all of them. Now I just got a little brush and I got this cute little collar. And since I don't know if it's a boy or a girl, I just thought this was super cute for any cat. It's just a cute little design. The next thing I got is this cat tree. Just a little one for now until I figure out does he or she like carpet? Do they like the rope? I'm gonna get one of those little cardboard shape things that they can just claw at. And if they like those, then I'll just know what to get for them in the future. But I thought, could just try this out for now and then I got a little bed I wanted to get an enclosed bed because they've been living outside and under a house so they're used to enclosed space but the closed bed looked like a pineapple and it wasn't really what I was going for so I just got a normal bed and I'll probably get an enclosed bed too but I think at least one bed is good for now and I got this jumbo litter mat that I will put on the floor underneath their litter box to try to prevent a mess I know it won't be perfect there are gonna be messes but this will just help a little bit and keep the litter at bay and the last thing I got was the litter box and this is not the litter box I ultimately want to go with but I went to eight stores today trying to find the one I wanted so it's just this one that's kind of covered has a higher side I want to get one that actually has a lid and has a sifter in it but none of the stores I went to had them so this is what I got and this is what we're gonna use until I can get the one that I wanted originally and yeah that's my little haul of everything I got for my new companion and I just wanted to share with you guys in case you're getting a cat and you didn't know what to get them, what you think they need. I just thought this might help and it's cool to show what I've been accumulating for the past few hours because I was out there for a long time trying to make decisions. I will see you tomorrow when we're on our way to get the little kitten! Are you sleepy? Yeah. Maybe that's because you were up all night. <laughs> okay, I'll let you sleep. Oh, yeah. Good girl. Hey guys, so it's been a busy couple of days. I probably had the haul before this and then probably a couple clips of my little baby. I didn't vlog getting her or 
even the first couple of days, I kind of just enjoyed the time with her and enjoyed playing with her and being with her and just letting her adjust a little bit better. But I wanted to show you guys her now and she is adjusting so well. And I will show you guys what she looks like right at this moment. She's obsessed with my shoes. So this is her right now. She absolutely loves those shoes. <laughs> She doesn't touch any of my other shoes except for those boat shoes because she loves the laces on it and she'll just like bury her head in my shoe. But that's my little baby. Later today I will get more clips of her and I will talk about her name and the idea behind it and why we named her that and yeah she's perfect she's absolutely perfect i absolutely adore her and i'm so glad that i have her so i will see you guys in a bit My perfect little angel. Like seriously, how cute is she? I just can't get over looking at her and watching her and loving her. It's just amazing. Hey guys, so I am editing this video now and I realized I forgot to end it and explain her name. And this video is really just kind of for me to look back on. To see her as a kitten again once she gets older but when we were naming her we wanted to do something kind of dark and mysterious because she's obviously a dark furred and she is kind of mysterious but also kind of sassy we went through like greek mythology names and space names and so many different kinds of names and then we finally ended on the name nyx and it's kind of funny because it's also a makeup brand and it's also a play on Stevie Nicks, which I love and my boyfriend loves, so it was really just the perfect name. Yeah, that's her name and she is eight weeks old and I love her. She's my little baby Nyx. Thank you for watching the video. Like the video if you like it. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of her and see more of me. And comment down below if you have an animal or if you're thinking about adopting a cat. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!